Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Profits, again joined by Jakob Little Lord of Malts. Trying out a new new location uh, for this review, and today, guys, we're going to be looking at a rare beer. Yeah. Uh, one we know is going to be good because we've all, we've already had this a couple of different. We've actually had had every single vintage of Sukaba, or at least you've yeah, I think. Oh, this yeah, is a, we have both of us. This is a Firestone Walker Sukaba. This is a 2013 batch. I bought this in Copenhagen. Last month, I believe it was, or was it two months ago? I think it was July, last. Yes. Yeah, last month. And um, 2013 vintage, if you don't know about Sukaba, it's basically a barley wine that's been in like retired Firestone Union barrels, which is like types of wine barrels, and then also like different spirit barrels. And we both really love Firestone Walker. And this here is one of their best beers. This is their barley wine Sukaba, and there it is. Uh, 13% right? Yeah. I believe it is... 12 and a half, close. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to trying the 2013 on a fresh palate, because the last time we had this was at Copenhagen Beer Celebration, and yeah. we were kind of fucked up, so... Yeah, yeah. who were? <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into this one. So we got Firestone Walker Sukaba 2013 board. Yeah. Really nice color. Uh, it's a really dark barley wine. Yeah, it's darker than I remember, man. It just, just like stinks up the room or <laughs> makes the room smell awesome. Um, but it's a nice dark ruby red color, really dark ruby red. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of a beige head. Yeah. Let's take all the aroma on it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I just love Fires the Walker. Oh, man. I. Every time you put your nose into a Firestone Walker beer, it's just, you know what's up. Especially from the pr proprietor from Surf Series. Not as much coconut as last year. No. Last year had a lot more coconut. I'm picking up a little hint of alcohol and a lot of sweetness. A lot of kind of rum, bourbon-y, and also like uh, sherry notes. Yeah. But it might also be because we had <laughs> the coconut IPA not that long ago. Yeah. Sorry, I'm laughing. He apparently can't. Uh, he's allergic to cats all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had a cat for years and I had no problem. A little bit of a honey note almost, like a yeah. honey sweetness. A lot of dark fruit, sweet dates, raisin, figs, oaky notes. Yeah. Um, I think it's bourbon that stands out, but the honey sweetness in there, I don't remember from last time. No. I almost a burnt caramel note as well. Yeah, the caramel toffee, almost yeah. like, oh, I'm almost picking up floral notes, but yeah, like floral honey. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> it's just Fires and Walker. Yeah. Zucaba. <laughs> Man. It's so awesome that at the moment you can buy Firestone Walker beers like this at 16 and WBA in Copenhagen. If you're in Copenhagen, oh. you haven't had Firestone Walker? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you're, you need to check them out. Yeah. I hope they still have more bottles. It's at the McLaren French bottle shop. Mm. Full mouth feel. Nice and creamy. I really like the tons of coconut you got last year. I'm not picking up as much coconut, but as you said, it might be because we had the coconut IPA earlier today. But still, a lot of barrel character, a lot of bourbon. Again, I'm picking up a lot of sherry-like notes and vineous notes this year. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, and the thing is, it always hits me every single time that we review a... Um, That's a Walker beer. Yeah. It amazes me how balanced and oh, yeah, the rounded it is. It's just so mind blowing. It's crazy how they get the flavors in there balanced. It, I must say too. I mean, it's there. I mean, as Ryan says all the time, when you talk to him and stuff, Firestone Walker has the best barrel aging program in the entire country of the United States. I think and maybe also the world. Yeah, because it's just crazy. I mean, I know some people aren't. Agreeing with that, but for me, this is like probably the best brewery in the world. Yeah, hands down. But a lot of the sweet and the sweet kind of honey flavor lingers. The honey floral notes I'm picking up. Yeah, for me, as I said, sherry, bourbon, oak, a lot of dark fruits, uh, like dates, figs. It has a slight coffee tinge to it almost as well. Yeah, and they kind of like in that barley wine kind of sense to it. Uh, it has a full mouth feel. Mm -hmm. You don't taste the alcohol at all, and uh, not as creamy as uh, I remember. Or it is sticky, yeah. but I just remembered it being more creamy. Raisin dates, figs, caramelized figs or something along those lines. 
Um, vanilla, of course, too. Um, oddly enough, I didn't think of vanilla instantly because it had that honey flavor that <laughs> yeah. I didn't really remember. But vanilla, it has like not syrupy flavors, but some sugary flavors too. Brown sugar. Yeah. Something like that. A little bit of molasses. Amazing beer. Fire some water does it again. Easy under it. Uh, best yeah. party wine in the world besides King Henry. Can't believe we just cracked this. <laughs> uh, oh well, we needed to drink it anyhow. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get to try 2014 the 2014 version as hopefully. well. Maybe they'll bring that to CBC if they're going next year. Hopefully, yeah. crossing <laughs> our fingers. Uh, Fires and Walker is going to CBC next year. That would be awesome. So yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. hundred for me, and I guess you too, right? Yeah. A hundred for me as well. Great, great stuff, guys. Definitely. I know we're a little late on reviewing the 2013 vintage, but what the hell, we got to review it. So, definitely let us know what you think of it. Yeah, again. <laughs> the Fires and Walker Tsukaba 2013 vintage, if you had it. 100 for both Jakob and I. Amazing, amazing stuff. One of the best party wines in the world, if not the best. Uh, yeah, guys, definitely let us know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. If you have some of this in your cellar, I think it was released in February or so. Doing pretty well. You can definitely age it longer, but still an amazing drinking beer right now. So we're going to say cheers. We're going to see you guys in another beer review.